cooking. Do you have to eat out a lot if you live in a tiny house? Again, that's a design issue. It depends. If you like cooking, you can accommodate that. If you'd rather just go pick something up, you can accommodate that too. For this house that I'm building, I'll be using a marine stove. So it runs off of liquid alcohol, and it sits on the counter. So when I'm not using it, I can put it away and I get that counter space back. Some of them you can actually you can build them into the counter and then have a cutting board or something that fits over top of it so that you get that counter space back. There are a lot of design decisions that you get to make when you decide that this is something you want to do. So I would like one that I can store because it also means that I can move it outside if I want. And if I have a large stock pot, say for example, to make a lot of gumbo or something, I can do that without buying additional equipment. So that's something that will work for me. It won't work for everybody, but that's, that's the plan. Why a soaking tub? Can't you just use a bucket or something? Most of the time the answer is going to be yes. You can use just about anything you want for the shower or tub, however you decide to design it. Again, lots of design decisions to make. In my particular case, I have a problem when I get cold. I stop producing heat and I can't get warm again. So it's incredibly important to me that I've, I've built into the design a way for me to get warm very quickly, and water is the most efficient way for me to get warm. So what I need to make sure of is that the tub or basin or whatever I'm using itself can hold heat for a period of time. And I've seen some really great bucket designs where it's very simple, it's very economical, but it doesn't hold heat very well. So the water, if you're sitting in a tub of water, it cools off very quickly and I need to make sure that that doesn't happen in my house. So right now I'm looking at a Japanese soaking tub which is porcelain and it's perfectly designed for this but they're not they're not terribly inexpensive so maybe I'll find a used one, maybe I'll find something that has the same design qualities but isn't a Japanese soap, soaking tub. It could be anything else. It's really the design qualities that I'm looking for so, until we get to the part where we've purchased the tub and we're installing it, the options are wide open. So, if you think of anything that would be helpful, let me know. I always appreciate suggestions and ideas. Even if we don't use them, these are things that we can use in the next house. Because we'll be building a lot of these.